so much for tuning in to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. As you listen to this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with others if you believe they will benefit from hearing anything in the video. So, um, if you've seen the previous two videos, I've been discussing the changes that I've made since um, I've gained a relationship with Christ. The first change was my mindset. And that literally changed my entire life. And then I changed my environment. So I had a new environment and I, I had a new mindset that I put in a new environment and that birthed new dreams. I am gonna discuss three dreams that I had before Christ and how they've evolved since I've gained a relationship with Christ. All right, so first dream is one that I've had since I was a little kid. You know, you always grow up and you see, um, you hear about how girls dream about their wedding day and they can't wait to get married and have kids. I've always wanted to have children. I've always wanted to have a family. And that's always been a dream of mine. Well, since I've gotten a relationship with Christ, yes, I still want to get married and have a family. Um, but I really desire a godly family. So one that God would be proud of, one that um, is can be an example for others not perfection but um one that's set apart to bring glory to his name so that's the first dream that has evolved um since gaining a relationship with christ and i'm not saying that before christ i didn't have an, i didn't have a desire to have like god in my marriage or my family it just wasn't something that was really intentional and now I'm being more intentional about it and I know that one day my dream will come true so the second one um, the second one is financial freedom um, so before Christ I've always I never really thought of financial freedom I just thought of managing um, my finances well and just doing the best that I can with it but now I'm thinking you know if if I can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ever think, ask, or imagine, then I should probably shoot for the stars. <laughs> so I am, uh, I have gained this dream of wanting financial freedom. And basically, it's not to be like rich just to have like a lot of money. No, that's not my desire, but my desire is to. Um, be wealthy and that is to have options that means to have options like if I want to stay home with my family with my children and, and spend more time with them get to know them and all of that I can or if I want to go to work full-time or part-time I can I'm not obligated to do anything but I genuinely have options so that's a, another dream of mine that has evolved post Christ and post gaining a relationship with Christ and I believe that's a dream that what caused others to get more curious about like how is she able to do that how and then i can lead them to the father because it's not going to be i mean it is work that takes on my part but i have the fortitude i have the wisdom um because i've gained this relationship with christ because i put myself in a different environment because i changed my mindset and i know if i can do it i'm in the journey of doing it i'm not financially free now but i am on this journey and i do see the light at the end of the tunnel so if i can do it i know others can too and god will be on your side so take me as an example that's the whole purpose of these videos um i believe my life can be an example and should be an example for others um and i'm here to inspire if you need any questions any tips reach out to me i got you um so that's the second dream that has evolved since i've gotten a relationship with christ and the third dream is to be in the best health i can possibly be in now obviously before christ i wasn't I wasn't dreaming to be in horrible health. Um, I think I just wasn't being intentional about it. Now, however, I believe God's want, God wants us to be the best steward we can be in our aspects of life, and that's including my health. Um, so I have a dream of being consistent with like going to the gym. And for those who don't know, I am pescatarian, so and, and I believe that um, that helps me with being healthier. Um, I'm not like in the best health in the world, but 
I am being more intentional about it. And I think that's what it's all about. Like, I want to be in the best health I've ever been in my life. So, um, I'm being consistent with going to the gym, eating healthier. I still have my weakness. Now I know what it is. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, those are some of the dreams that I believe have evolved um, since I've been in a relationship with Christ. And there are other dreams. Like, I have... I dream big, but I also work hard for it. And I believe that when I step out on God in big ways, I believe that when I have faith and I put work with that faith, then I will achieve all of the dreams um, and ultimately lead everyone back to Christ. Like me achieving these dreams aren't just for me, but it is to give an example to other generations, um, my peers, others around me, just to say, hey, you know what? God was with me along this journey. It wasn't easy, but it was possible. And if I can do it, again, if I can do it, then you can too. And I don't want anything to... The, the one thing that I hope that comes from this particular video is that not saying that you have to change your dreams to match mine, no, but it's to open that opportunity to say, hey, you don't have to be stuck inside of a box with your dreams, but you can truly lean on God and say, you know what, God, if your word says this, and why not shoot for it? Um, God, I pray for the wisdom that gets me there. Um, I pray for the steps, put me in the environment, give me more insight. What books should I read? What resources should I look up to? You know, like, so not just saying, hey, God, I'm going to give you these dreams. I'm going to throw this out here. Mm, that works. Speak it. Manifest it. But also put some work and some, some steps in that direction as well. And I believe that it'll come to pass. So thank y'all so much for tuning in to yet another video. And um, just to give you a heads up, the next video is going to be a little bit of break from my stories. I'm going to do a craft and then I'm going to come back with some of the um, fruit that I've seen from these changes. So next couple of videos are gonna be so exciting. I can't wait to share some of the, the faith journey, some of the faith hacks that I've um, experienced since having a relationship with Christ. All of these changes are not going in vain. These changes have produced fruit and I can't wait to share it with you. So make sure you tune in, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share the video because when I reach 100 subscribers, I will have a giveaway. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.